And I just, at this point, I'm numb to it. You know what I'm saying? I've been here for a couple years now, and I just feel like you just got to find a way to win. And we didn't find a way to win yesterday. Is this year different than the last two? A lot different? Uh, I've, I would say we faced some adversity during the season. But other than that, no, I would say no. I mean, we just, we get into this position, we get into the playoffs, and we, we can't come up with a win. And, you know, that's heartbreaking for a guy that's been here for a couple of years. And I want to see this team do well and wanted to be a part of that. And we just couldn't get it done. We talk about you know, that adversity and how much there was this season. Do you feel like that maybe at some point did just take a toll? <laughs> I just had that question. Uh, I guess when you face adversity, it's like, okay, we can get over it. And once you get over it, you got to keep the main thing the main thing, and that's football and win football games and win when we get in the playoffs and show up when we get in the playoffs. And I felt like we didn't show up yesterday, you know, and it showed. We played a good team and they came out there and they ran straight through us. And we, we, we talk about how we want home field advantage in the playoffs and we get and we get what we want and we don't show up. So it looks bad on us. And it's like, you know, when is enough enough? I said, uh, did, your, did your role materialize for you the way you expected and wanted it to this year going back to training camp? Um, I just did what I needed to do and did what they wanted me to do during the season when, when my number was called. And, you know, my role was my role. Whatever that was, you know, whatever they wanted me to do, I just did it. And that's what I've been doing for the past few years. And, you know, it is what it is. Isaiah, you said, you know, at this point, you're numb to these playoff losses like this. I guess what is it going to take, do you think, that, that extra step to get over the hump? Uh, I think I'm going to start asking the same question. You know what I'm saying? What, what's it going to take? You know, we got we got the guys. We got the I feel like we got the right guys. Being in McDermott, they bring in the right guys. And great players at that. You know, Vaughn Miller, Stephon Diggs. We got Josh. You know, Gabe is coming along and things like that. The defense is doing well. You know, I, I'm trying to figure that out. You know, what is it? You know, what, is, what do we have to do? And, I mean, obviously, it ain't up to me. But, you know, other than that, I'll, I'll ask that question just like you asking that question. I, don't, I, I really don't know because everything is... We got the players, we got the coaches, we got everything we wanted. We're winning football games when we need to win them, but well, during the season and then we get to the playoffs, it's just like, not there. Uh, I'm still not understanding that. You spent so many se seasons with Brian Dable. You've been here longer than any receiver. How tough of a transition was it to Ken Dorsey in his first year calling plays? Um, I feel like he did a good job. You know what I'm saying? He was doing what he thought, you know, what he called, his calls were right, and I feel like, when we went out there on the field, sometimes we, we didn't execute well, you know what I'm saying, or things just didn't go our way. But for the most part, Dorsey did what he thought was the best for the, you know, for the offense. And he's going to, I feel like he's going to learn and get better from it as a coach. But um, he's a great coach, great person, and um, he did a great job this year. Isaiah, what can you um, say to guys like Isaiah, I'm sorry, like uh, Khalil or James, the young guys going into their first full off season about being prepared for next year? Um, Take some time off, you know, get away from it. But I also know you gotta you gotta go go back and train in a couple months and OTA is right around the corner. You know, before you before you blink, it's gonna be it's gonna be there. And for a guy like Shaquille that's in my uh, Khalil that's in my room, um, he's a great player. As you can see yesterday he made a great a uh, couple great plays and um he's just gonna get better. And for James, you know, I grew up with James so I know him, you know, personally. But um for for those two guys, they 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 came along well, they did a lot of great things and um, they're just gonna get better. But you know, be safe in the off season, you know, work out, get ready for OTAs and come back with a chip on your shoulders because this team is not giving up. As, if, you, if you if you guys think you have the, the right guys and yeah. you're doing the right things, mm -hmm. it's not working, maybe is it time for a, a bigger reevaluation of what's going on here? I mean, maybe not player by player, but <clears throat> processes, or, or is it going to take a significant change to get this team over the hump? Um, <laughs> That's another question. I, I have no idea that that's above my pay grade, but um, I'm pretty sure Bean and McDermott and all the, you know all, all the guys upstairs they're gonna you know try to figure out the best way they can, and you know we're just gonna have to see next year, and that's and that's the sad part about it. You just gotta wait till next year. Next year is far away, and um, but that's just a question that they'll have to answer to themselves. I can't really answer that question, but like I said, next year is far away, and it's sad that we gotta wait that, for, that you know that long to figure out if. You know, we did the right things in the offseason to, you know, better prepare for us in the playoffs or even during the season. You say with, Ken, with, your... Ken, with Ken being his first year mm -hmm. um, and taking over a Super Bowl-ready offense, is that a job that needs experience? Or are we looking, am, I, am I wrong in that area? Do you want somebody 
to take that offense? Who's seen defenses and call plays? Um, I feel like with Doris, I mean, he played in the league for six years. You know what I'm saying? He's been around coaching as well. And I feel like he understood, you know, defenses and everything like that, the quarterback role, the, the offense, the offense and, and things like that. So I don't think it takes experience, but, I, I mean, experience helps. But for him, you know, he had the guys, he had, he had Josh, you got Steph, you got Gabe, you got, you know, you got, you got Singletary and James, newcomer coming in. And I just feel like, you know, he tried his best to use everybody in the best position, you know, best way possible. And just trying to do right by everybody on offense and just try to do the best he can. And did it work out for us? You know, sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. But I don't, I don't blame him because he's just doing, trying to do the best job he can. As Isaiah, you, you know Stefan better than any of us. <laughs> we, we see one side of it. Can you yeah. add some perspective on, on, you know, maybe what we don't see beyond just, you know, some of the more demonstrative yelling or, or things like that? Um, Steph's a great person, great, great leader on this team. He's, he, hard, he works hard, and um, you know what we see. What we see on Sundays is just him being competitive, being that fiery player that he is. Because in a way, you know, he is one of the best receivers in the league, or the best receiver in the league. And when, he, when he's asking for the ball, I mean, he looks at me sometimes and he's like, you know, why am I not getting the ball? I'm like, hey, you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? You you put in all this work, you become a, a star in this league, and probably possibly one of the best receivers in this league. You deserve to get the ball. You know, so if the ball's not coming to you and you're complaining, then you know, there's a reason, you know, and he and he says a lot, but he also does a lot. And I felt like for him, he's just a fiery player and you know, I you know, I respect him and I commend him for everything he does. But, you know, sometimes he can get a little bit overboard, but I feel like sometimes it's relevant. And, you know, sometimes he's he, he can't he can't do it because he, he deserves the ball. Have you talked to him today? How's he doing? I talked to him last night and um he was just talking, he was he was just asking the same questions, like how, you know, every year it's the same thing, like how, you know, you know, what do we need to do? Same question you have, you know, it's just like, I, I say, I don't know, bro. And and I ask the same to him, like, you know, what's, what do you think, what's the, what do you think is the problem? I'm saying he'll give me his feedback, I'll give him my feedback, and then we'll be like, okay, well, shit, it ain't up to us in the end of the day, you know, it's up to upstairs and, you know, what they do, who they bring in, you know, how the, how the coaching staff looks and things like that. And we just got to go out there and play football. In terms of the emotions, I'm sure it's arranged with everything. I'm sure there's, you know, you might feel discouraged, you might feel motivated heading into this offseason, but where do you kind of fall on that scale? For me, I'm, like I said, I'm right now I'm numb to it because it's like it keeps happening. And that's something I don't want, you know, for me and, and for as a team, as an organization. You know, for and going into this offseason, it's, it's going to feel bad because I feel like we don't, we're not supposed to be going home right now. And a lot of teams probably can say that, but the Buffalo Bills have worked so hard up, since, up to this point to, like, you know, Make, make ourselves relevant. And I feel like yesterday we, we didn't show up to, you know, combat what everybody thought about us. You know, and I feel like going into this off season, it's just gonna be a long wait to say, okay, next year. And then next year we come back, and if it's the same thing, it's like, okay, well, next year. And that's what I don't want. Is it frustrating just because it felt so uncharacteristic for you guys to, to play that way yesterday? Yes, very frustrating. You know, especially with me speaking from the offensive side of the ball, it looked like we were helpless, and they were just having their way with us. And and I, and that's not Buffalo Bills football. That's that's not you know how we play as a unit. And I felt like we just, you know, we just laid an egg, and that's not us.